Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucia and this is Lulu's Leaves. I just wanted to come on here today and show you guys some of the plants that I've recently purchased. But before I do that, I just want to thank you guys for continuing to support my channel. If you're not already subscribed, please hit that button down below. And if you enjoy this video, leave a thumbs up as well. It really, really helps my channel and it makes me really, really happy. If you have any questions about any of these plants, please also leave comments down below. I reply to every single one of them. With that being said though, let's get straight into this video. There are two aeroids and there are two Hoyas for you today. And I will say one of them is very, very awesome. <laughs> So I'm gonna start off with the two Hoya, just because they're a little bit more easily accessible. <laughs> the first Hoya that I have a part of this mini haul is the Hoya Finlaysonii Splash. I'm not sure how well this is coming off on camera, but this plant has some spectacular veining and splashing. It's so, so cool. And I love the ripply edges. That's one thing that I really, really like in Hoyas. So honestly, any variety that has that rippling is a favorite in my books. I'll try to play with the camera settings in editing so you guys can see kind of this veination a little bit better. I purchased this rooted cutting from Crystal Star Nurseries and honestly I could not be more satisfied. The picture of this plant that I purchased it from was a picture of a plant with two leaves that were this size. So that's what I was expecting. And I got a plant that has one leaf that size and one leaf three times that size. This one is basically the size of my head. So I'm really, really happy and I don't really have much more to say. Like this is, it speaks for itself. It's a really, really beautiful Hoya. And if you don't already have Hoya, they're so easy to care for, which makes them really, really great beginner plants. If you want to try something a little bit more exciting or maybe not exciting, interesting. <laughs> the next toy that I have here is very interesting. This is one that I saw on a local Facebook page and I knew I had to have right away. And someone told me that Crystal Star Nurseries was going to be doing a restock and this would likely be in it. So I jumped on that opportunity. <laughs> This is the Hoya Imbricata. This one has not been growing on a piece of wood or anything like that, so it has kind of folded back onto itself, but these are very unique. They actually suction cup themselves onto a surface, like a piece of driftwood or something like that, and they look kind of like sand dollars in my opinion. So if you can see here, this is actually just a big circle trying to pull it apart a little bit. The inside there is purple, and you can see the stem in there and all of its little aerial roots. It would attach itself to if it had something to attach to. <laughs> so I will definitely be putting this near a piece of wood or something that it can climb onto and attach onto as soon as I see some new growth happening. For now, I'm just going to keep it like this because I don't have a ton of room, but I'm hoping that by the time there is a new growth, since Hoyas take a little bit longer to grow once they come to your house, they need a little bit more of a rest period. I'm hoping that I can get a new shelf or something that I can expand my collection onto so that I have some good room for this guy to grow properly. I hope that made sense. I just rambled on there. <laughs> so yes, this is the Hoya Imbricata and I'm so happy to have this. Again, this. The picture only had two leaves, so I got three, and that makes me really happy. So keep on keeping on Crystal Star Nurseries. <laughs> I think we have to keep the most elusive for last, so I'm going to show you the first of the aeroids. The pot is so dang heavy on this one. I might show it to you in its nursery pot, and then I'll show you the pot as well because I really do love the pot. It's not gonna work like that, it's too heavy. 
So next up we have the Anthurium Ephusispathum. Let me know if I pronounced that right. I know not many people even know of this plant. It is awesome. Just wait. <laughs> Okay, let me try to talk from here. <laughs> so, this plant is actually native to Ecuador, and it's only found in a specific part of Ecuador. And from what I can tell, that's the only place that it exists. So, my thought is that it must be quite uncommon. It's definitely not something that's super mainstream or popular, but this plant is very, very special. I think anything that is difficult to find and maybe not as common is really, really cool. Like, I think it's really cool to know that there's not many people out there that have this, even though they don't know that they don't have it because they don't know it exists. <laughs> but I don't know, there's something really, really cool about having a plant like this. And yeah, I just feel like I am special because there's really not a ton of them. I think. I don't know for sure. But honestly, it is really nice. It's nice and shiny. It's obviously a little bit banged up. It actually did come with three leaves and I just chopped the third leaf off because it was just, it was taking away from the beauty of the plant. <laughs> but they were imported, so that explains the rough-ish leaves. But honestly, I'm just really, really excited for a new leaf to come out and for me to see that grow because they are so beautiful and it's already such a large plant. I think it's gonna be really, really awesome to watch that grow. I don't even think I showed you the pot. This is the pot that I have it in and you can't see it. <laughs> Let me fiddle around with this. That might be a little bit better, but it is really cute. I got it from Marshalls and it's got some feet. I will say those feet are a little bit tipsy, so be careful if you get this pot. <laughs> but yeah, overall I'm really, really happy with this plant and this pot. All right, so the next plant is one that I think everyone and their mom is looking for. <laughs> I can't believe that I found this plant and that I was able to trade it for what I traded it for. I mean, it was definitely a fair trade, but <laughs> so I found myself a variegated monstera, a monstera Borzi albo borzigiana. <laughs> this is a partially rooted cutting. It definitely has some roots growing, which is very promising. I know that cuttings can be a little bit finicky, especially with the variegated monsteras, so I'm very happy to have one that is already growing. It is currently growing in perlite, and I have some sphagnum moss on top just to keep the humidity in, and then as well I have some saran wrap over top. I traded my monstera stanleyana albo plant for this one. It was one of the first rare plants that I purchased, and I kind of fell out of love with it. It's not my favorite, and I thought that this was a great trade for me, considering leaves like this are going for like $300, which is just crazy. Like, it's crazy that one single leaf of a plant that's not rare, it's just in demand, right? Anyways, I do feel really, really lucky to have one and I can't wait for it to continue to grow. I know that it's probably going to be a little while before I get a second leaf because it is not a top cutting. But yeah, this is very exciting for me. And there were two options when I traded with this person. They had one that was not fenestrated, that was still very beautiful, and then they had this one, and I think I liked the variegation slightly better in the other one, but maybe not even, because this is pretty awesome. So I'm really, really hopeful that nothing goes wrong with this plant, and I can soon pot it up. The roots are, there's one root, and it's about five inches long. Part of it is an aerial root, and part of it is a water root. So, or a new root, I guess. <laughs> I 
don't know how long it's going to be staying in here, but I want to be a little bit over cautious just because I don't have five of these laying around. This is the one that I have and it's the one that I have to cherish, so yeah. I'm so, so excited about this though, so wish me luck. <laughs> All right guys, well, that's it. I am so, so excited to have these plants. Each of them are equally exciting to me. So I just wanna put a disclaimer out there. You don't need these plants. You don't need a monster albo to have a successful, whatever that means, plant collection. If you stumble upon one and it works out, I'm so happy for you, but if not, Whatever, <laughs> it's not a big deal. Anyways, if you guys are not already subscribed, please hit the button down below. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up as well. This is a fun one. Why don't you guys comment the most outrageous price you've ever seen for a single leaf of a Monstera Albo? <laughs> Cause there are some pretty outrageous listings out there. So leave that in the comments down below. If you guys want to see more plant hauls, again, giving this video a thumbs up really tells me that you guys are enjoying it. With that being said though, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.